Hi, this is Nana Salsa, our Magic the Gathering team on YouTube. Hey, let's introduce our team members from Ireland. We have Jack, only by the night. Hello. From Great Britain, Rothko42. Hello. And from Scotland, we have Fox2099. Hey, what's up? Of course, myself, the Drowned God. This is Nana Salsa's second episode, Elsbeth 2.0. Let's go ahead and check out the new spoiler from the Scars of Mirrodin, Sword of Body and Mind. Pay three colorless, a quick creature gets to plus two and has protection from green and blue. Whenever a quick creature deals damage to a player, you put a 2-2 two -two green wolf creature token onto the battlefield, and that player puts the top ten cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Uh, you can equip it for two. Jack, what do you think? It seems like a solid card, and I can see why it's mythic. Um, the best thing I can see about it is, besides the milling, if they O-ring or pass to your creature that it's equipped to, you can pay two and equip it to the 2-2 two -two wolf creature you just created. And, of course, the Stoneforge Mystic package where you can search it open, put it into play for two. It's great. Rothko, what do you think? Uh, when I first looked at it, uh, I don't know, I thought, I thought it was pretty awesome, but the more I look at it, I just like it less and less. Okay, I mean, it's got, it gives protection from green and blue. Okay, that's, that's cool, they're both really strong colours in the current standard. But, I mean, it doesn't give any protection from the main removal colours, which is very relevant. Very true. Susceptible to terminate. Yeah, or pass, or doom blade, or lightning bolt or anything <laughs> well you're probably fairly safe from lightning bolt i'd love to put on a core firewalker have a what a four four protection from three colors or a great stable stag oh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think fox i have a different view of what creature i'd attach it to i'd attach it to a black knight or a malachir blood witch Ooh, safe from being pav that is my other main issue with it i just don't i don't, I don't know i don't get it <laughs> I don't see the synergy between milling and aggro. I mean, if you're, like, playing loads of creatures and equipment and equipping stuff and attacking, why would you want to mill? It just, I don't see the synergy in the different win comps. It doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, a little bit different uh, viewpoint on that. I'm sure a lot of people will share that view. Me, personally, I think it's a great card that will probably break out similar to Lexington and Warhammer, except without the lifelink, which was a three to cast. I think Sword of Body and Mind gives you a buff at two plus two, gives you card advantage, at least on the field, another dude, mm -hmm. and yeah. helps give your opponent less options when the cards come off the top of his deck. Not really, though. Yeah, but I can't see how milling gives any advantage. It's because they're just random cards. Fine. Well, what if they're playing blue and they're putting cards back that they want to draw their next turn? Yeah, the Halamar deck, you know, or is the the Fauna Shaman deck, Fauna <laughs> Conscription. Yeah, that would not be good to true, build true, their, true. their revenge minds. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. There's so many more relevant things they could have done with the blue ability. I mean, like, scrying would be cool. Yeah, like, yeah, scrying would have been a better card. It would have fit in better, but still, I wouldn't mind bashing face, creating <laughs> tokens, and milling them. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see the next spoiler coming out. I'm excited about about the set. Let's go ahead and oh, move on. Can I just, yeah, can I just sure. ask something? Um, I mean, it's obviously it's protection from green blue. Now, one of the fetch lands is green blue. Mm -hmm. Does that mean we get ones that are like got protection from black white? Finishing off a set. I think what wizards are doing is they're finishing the sword cycle that they ran in the first mirror and block. There was sword of fire and ice, which was protection from red and blue, and there was a sword of light and shadow, and it was protection from white and black. Um, there's a whole like legendary, pretty much sword cycle, and I think. They're just going to finish it off in Scars of Mirrodin. I think it's Wizard's way of saying green and blue are going to get better. I think that's why this card is spoiled first. We'll move on to the new Duels decks coming out, Elspeth versus Tezzeret. You can see from the art on the new Elspeth, which is really just gorgeous, that it has a new feature on it. It says, you will get an emblem with an artifacts, creatures, and enchantments and lands you control are indestructible. 
So now we will be having emblems to state state-based effects. It seems more like a keyword for more solving memory issues. Once your L spec goes out, that everything's indestructible. But now you get a token that's always out, and so you'll just remember, I suppose. I wonder if they're going to put cards added in packs like they do tokens. What do you think, Rothko? What about the emblem thing? I don't know. I can see the logic behind it. I mean, it's just so you don't forget stuff, but I can't really see why it's necessary. It doesn't really do anything. It's just don't really need it, but fine with it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a sec, we haven't talked about it. We brought up the Elspeth and Tezzeret deck, but then didn't talk about it. We just talked about I the end. <laughs> yeah, it shows Tez some love, damn what? it. <laughs> yeah. He's still alive. Well, I, does anybody have any thoughts on Tezzeret? Maybe he'll show up in uh, yeah. the Scars of Nerdin block. I'd be surprised if he didn't turn up in the new block, only because it's an artifact's pain walker, and he fit in beyond perfect in there. His plus one yeah. is on top two target artifacts, and his minus X, you can search your library for artifacts and then his, mo- his ultimate uh, artifacts you control become 5-5 five, five creatures I think he'll definitely be in there maybe updated same with Elspeth I'm like, pretty sure Elspeth's going to get updated too because I don't think that they reprinted with Elspeth and a Tesseract for $20 you know everyone will stock up they'll want to chase mythics and I think Elspeth 2.0 will be that mythic with yeah. the dual decks Usually fetching a price of $20 here in the U.S., it's a great buy. Elspeth now fetching $35 currently on Star City Games. And with that being said, Shards of Lara rotating out. How would you feel if Elspeth or Tezzeret did not show up in the Scars block and we got Elspeth 2.0 or Tezzeret 2.0 instead? Fox? Well, I'm of the opinion of what Jack says. That is probably what will happen. They're not going to reprint Elspeth and then release her again in a set just after it. No, they're going to release something else for you to pour more money into it, essentially. I mean, is there not talk of another Planeswalker as well? Like Cough or something like that? Yeah. Maybe a mm, yeah. red. Just speculating but, on the picture. Maybe red, black. But it looks like Cough and Elspeth are on the same side, so... Let's not forget in the novel coming out that Tezzeret is supposed to be <laughs> hooking up with Nicol Bolas in some and new he's comedy not dead. <laughs> He's not dead. No. <laughs> he's not dead. That's what I heard. <laughs> okay, moving on. Quasali Pride. Oh. Yep. UFNM card coming out. It was brought up by Jack. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? I just thought it was a nice FNM card. I know he's going out of standard soon, but the picture's cute. <laughs> it's <laughs> cute. Yeah, it is. And it's better than getting, what is it, Crows and Grip, like last FNM. Yeah, it seems like a good card that can be played, unlike most cards you get. Pretty sweet. What do you think, Roko? You like that card? Yeah, it's a good card. Solid. Yeah, nice FNM choice. Cool. Fox. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all right, I suppose. If you're in a matchup against White and you're also playing White, you want to get rid of an Oblivion Ring. I think it has really cool artwork. I always love the foils and the special FNM promos you get. And, of course, you can destroy target artifact or enchantment, like Fox at Oblivion Rings, but you also have Eldrazi Conscription, Spreading Seas, all kinds of cool stuff to target. I think that covers it for our spoilers. And to our viewers, if you have a prediction on whether Elspeth 2.0 or Tezzeret 2.0 will make an appearance in Scars of Meridian, please leave your comment below. All right, until next week, this is the Drowned God for Mana Salsa. See you next week. Bye.